So, hey guys, it's Bats here, and today we are back with another video. Alright, I'm zooted to infinity and beyond. I'm smacking on a new cart, and today I am here to tell you guys a bedtime story as usual. Now, today I've got a fucking crazy one for you boys. So, you know, everybody, if you got if you got some weed to smoke, if you, you know, got some something to, you know, get zooted on, I recommend that you do it now. Um, you know, uh, so just gonna take a, a quick little smack of the cart. Everyone else can, you know, hit their bowl, do whatever you're doing. Um, so we're all sufficiently zooted for the video. All right, here we go, boys. It's fucking beautiful. I'm smoking on a, uh, it's it, the thing is the strain is literally called gushers this shit is fire boys um anyway i think it's about time that we get into the video so today i'm going to be talking about my four ish day psychedelic binge in which i did probably about an ounce of shrooms um like four maybe five actually no it was more like maybe seven tabs of acid and at the end i took maybe i think a gram of dxm i don't think i did like hella um you know because i was also on other stuff or maybe it was 1.5 grams i can't remember my memory is really bad but it was a fuck ton of drugs all right fellas um i think it was just one gram because i also took acid with the dxm all right anyway um but yeah so let's get into it so this all started on a weekend, all right? Me, me and my homie were going up to uh we're going up to this like campsite. Um and we're we're going to spend the weekend there. We're going to camp um and we were going to do shrooms and get fucking big zooted. So, um I had we, you know, we had just recently acquired some some psychedelics, right? We had a good amount. Um and you know, had about an ounce of shrooms, a bunch of tabs which we left at home. Uh, and then, you know, went up there, uh, we got some food along the way, had a nice little road trip, we were bumping some music in the car, it was fucking lit, you know how it be, um, and, you know, we get up to the, we get up to the campsite finally, and we find a space, and, you know, we get all our shit ready, we, you know, get our, our tent all set up, um, that was, that was an interesting process, honestly, I had no fucking clue how to set up a tent, so, hey, brother, it was a little bit rough, but at this point, I was just, I was, I think I was completely sober, yeah, um, uh, besides, I think, like, Suboxone, and I had brought Benadryl with me, because at the time, I was lo I was low key doing Benadryl every now and again. I was you know kind of in a little little desperate phase. It was pretty bad, um, but I wasn't doing it like every day like I was when I was really bad on Benadryl. Um, but I had them with me just in case I wanted to take some, and I almost did. I'm glad I didn't though. That shit would have sucked. But anyway, um, so yeah, um, you know we get all our shit ready, um, and then. We decide to, uh, you know, walk out and find a nice place to sit down and take these shrooms at. So, we go walking through the woods for a while. We get to this, like, little river thing. And, uh, you know, we start walking along the side of the river. It's all beautiful. It's nice. We find a good little spot. We sit down. And, you know, we start counting out our, uh, our doses. Now, I think the initial dose that I took was about, I'd say, 7 grams, maybe. You know, so that that's a that's a pretty pretty hefty dose, um, and yeah, like at, at this point, I was like, that was pretty normal. Every time that me and this dude tripped together, uh, we would just do fucking monster doses, and we still do, um, and it's always it's always fire, it's always lit. Um, so you know, I gobble this shit down. Uh, thankfully, you know, at the time, wasn't really having any stomach problems, which is. Yeah, something I'll probably talk about in my later videos, fucking opioids, man, just, oh, man, they suck, really fuck up your stomach sometimes, and then, you know, it makes it harder to eat, um, 
but at this point I was chilling, so I had no problem down in these shrooms. They weren't super chewy. The shrooms that I used to get from this guy were pretty good. I really liked them because they were pretty easy to consume. I hate super chewy, like crunchy, hard shrooms. That shit sucks. But you know, they got I got them down pretty easy. And, you know, now we're just waiting on the come up. And so, you know, we decided to keep walking around the river more. Um, and eventually, at, you know, after about 45 minutes, almost an hour, it starts kicking in. You know, you start feeling that that little goofy feeling in your in your stomach and your chest area. Um, you know, like that little tingle that, you know, and you start feeling just I don't know. You just start feeling weird, man. You start like smiling and shit. Um and the water, like, started looking really nice. It's, you know, it was getting, like, really bright and, like, it was almost, like, glowing, I guess. You could see straight through it and, you know, it just looked crazy. Um, and everything just starts looking brighter and, like, almost, like, animated, I guess. Um, and, you know... And my homie's like, you know, we should we should hop in the water. We should take a take a little dip. And I'm like, you know what? That sounds nice. It was actually a kind of hot day. It wasn't bad, like, but it was, you know, it was pretty warm out. So I was like, all right, bet, bet. Um, so you know, we all we strip down into shorts. Um, and you know, we go, we start. He dives into the water, and I was like, damn, that, that man is crazy. But I w I was just gonna walk in. Um, and I start walking in and I immediately notice that even though it's like pretty hot, holy fuck, this water is cold. And at this point, I'm actually kind of tripping. The water was like almost purple. It felt like I was on a different planet, bro. That shit was insane. And so I start walking in. It's cold as fuck. It's like my, my legs are literally being frozen. It feels like Mr. Freeze just hit me with his fucking freeze gun. And he's just freezing my body. And, you know, I was like, what the f I was like, you know, like, just, like, shock throughout my entire body. And my homie starts making fun of me. You know, he's like, you're a fucking pussy. Just, you know, just, you gotta just go for it. You just gotta go all the way in. And I'm like, nah, man, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not fucking with this. Um, and so I went, like, halfway in, and I was just like, man, no, sir. <laughs> And, you know, but it was, it was chilling, you know, I, I, I just sat there where I was, and I was like, you know, this is nice, um, but I just, I didn't want to dunk my, myself in there and then be, like, wet for, you know, a long time, um, because, I don't know, when I'm tripping, just, like, uncomfortable things are way worse, so I'd rather not, but, you know, we hop out the water, put our clothes back on, um, or, well, we dry off first, we said, that was actually really nice, sitting there drying off, um, like, in the sun, just chilling, um, and it's hard to remember now, if I made the video, like, right after it happened, I might be able to remember it better, but, you know, we, we talked a bit, and we were chilling, eventually we dry off, we got our clothes back on, and we start walking, um, and this is where things start getting weird, um, like, we all, like, I feel like we always have this thing where, like, when we're tripping together, we end up, like, not, like, we start not trusting each other and, like, being suspicious of, like, what we're doing, and it's really weird. <laughs> um, and so, like, I started just, like, wandering off because I had to piss, um, and I was trying to find a nice, like, place to piss, and he starts following me. He's like, dude, where are you going? And I'm like, bro, I'm peeing. Like, you don't gotta follow me, man. He's like, alright. Um, <laughs> and there's, like, just lots of these random moments where we're just like, bro, what the fuck are you doing? You're like, you know, what are you, what are you, what are you doing, man? It's like, nothing. It's like, you know, just, I don't know. We're just weird. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. Trip, it just makes you weird. Um, and so, you know, eventually we get, you know, to this point where we're walking through, like, this forest. It's like, you know, the plants are really beautiful. But, like, I was, like, wearing shorts, so walking through it, like, I could feel, like, all the plants, like, brushing against my leg. And I, I'm scared of spiders. So I was, like, you know, every time I think it's, like, a spider web or something's about to be walking on me. And I'm not fucking with that. I hate that shit. I mean, eventually, my homie, he just sits down. And, like, just, like, basically goes into, like, this crisscross applesauce, like, fetal position kind of thing. And he's just sitting there. And he's just got his hands in his face. And I'm like, 
damn, is bro good? I was like, hey, bro, you good? And he just didn't say anything. So I was like, all right, I guess we're stopping for a bit. So I stopped and I sit down, and this is when it starts really hitting me. Like, all of a sudden, I'm getting, like, crazy, like, you know, tracers and, like, visuals. And, like, it looks like everything around me is moving. And it looks like, like the leg on my hair is, like, fucking wobbling and wiggling and shit. And so I'm like, yo this shit's hitting, you know, and, like, you, at this point, you have a pretty nice body feeling going, where you're just, like, you know, just, like, glowing, just absolutely glowing, and I'm chilling, I'm having a good time, and I remember, oh, shit, I brought a granola bar with me, I'm about to demolish this shit, so I whip out a granola bar, um, it was, like, one of those chocolate chip chewy granola bars, and I'm like, fuck, yeah, I, I just ate the fuck out of that thing, that shit was delicious, um, and then eventually, uh, you know, I noticed that my homie is crying, and I'm like, I, like, I, I'm, I'm tripping balls, so, like, so I'm, like, just sitting here bewildered, I'm like, bro, what the fuck do I even do? Like, you know, I feel bad for the homie, you know, like, want to make sure he's okay, but, like, bro, I'm tripping balls, I don't know what the fuck to say to this guy, and so I just wait, I just sit there, and I'm like, I'll just wait for him to <laughs> stop crying, and then I'll, you know, and then we'll talk about it later, um, and so, you know, he does his thing, and, you know, eventually he, like, he, like, you know, just, like, looks up, and he, like, wipes his eyes, just, like, god damn, dude, like, that shit was crazy, and I was like, what happened, and he's like, I don't know, bro, like, I just, all of a sudden, I just, you know, sat down, and I had this overwhelming feeling of, like, just, love and connection to the universe, and I was like, oh, yep, there it is, that's, yep, he's tripping balls, um, he was like, yeah, um, and, yeah, I just, like, started, I just started crying, but it was good, it felt good, it felt like I needed to do that, like, I needed to release that, and I was like, you know, th that's good, that's very good, man, I'm, you know, and, uh, Moments like that are some of the most beneficial moments that you will have when tripping, and, like, you know, I've had moments like that, too, and along this trip, you know, there's gonna be some pretty personal moments, but, <clears throat> you know, those moments where you just, like, really think about something, or, like, you know, you just, like, get something out that you've been holding in, those are good moments, they're very helpful, and they could, like... Uh, be very good for your mental health. I recommend tripping to most people. Unless you have, like, a serious mental illness, I think tripping is something that everybody should try. Um, but you should, uh, do it with somebody that you trust, um, and, like, you know, know, cares about you, <laughs> um, is, like, the most important thing. Um, other than that, uh, let's get back to the story anyway, so, you know, he has his little moment, and I was just kind of chilling in my own world, looking at the trees and shit, watching everything move, it was like, yo, and so now we're walking back through the woods, and this is really fucking funny, we were trying to get back to, like, the trail that we were on, and, like, get back to our, uh, tent, we couldn't fucking figure it out, bro, we couldn't find our way back, it was, like, I don't, <laughs> it was so stupid, like, we just, like, kept walking through random parts of, like, the woods trying to find our way back, and we just couldn't do it for some reason, and I was like, bro, what the fuck? I don't know how long we were in there. It felt like forever, but we just could not find our way back, and then eventually, we just, like, found this, like, you know, we found, like, a little path, and it turns out that the entire time that we were lost, we were, like, 15 feet away from the camp. I, we felt so fucking stupid, but that's what happens when you're tripping, bro, like, just, like, normal things become so confusing, and, like, you just get lost, and, you know, you just don't know what you're doing or where you are, and so eventually we do find our way back to the camp, and, we, you know, we, we try to walk, you know, by people and not, like, seem weird, and it's so weird when you see other people while you're tripping that you don't really know and just, like, see them in their natural habitat doing what they do, and you're just like, huh, that's so fucking weird. It's like natural geographic. You're just, like, watching people, you know, like animals. Um, you know, it's just fascinating. And so, you know, we get back to our, our little tent, and we're chilling there. 
and I start, you know, I, I realize that I had a burger that I didn't finish earlier, and I'm hungry now, so I whip that bitch out, and I start eating it, I'm not gonna lie, that thing looked disgusting while I'm tripping, usually burgers look super fucking gross when I'm tripping, especially if you have been, like, uh, out for a while, um, and, you know, and then, like, these fucking bugs, I think they were mosquitoes or something, they start swarming around me and around the food and shit, and I'm just, like, trying to eat my food without getting fucked over by all these bugs, and my homie's just looking at me, and he's just like, oh. Like, I could just tell he is very disturbed by what he's witnessing, and he later told me that he was just, like, watching me eat this burger while these bugs are just, like, swar swarming around me. The burger looks disgusting. And, like, he's just like, dude, I, I was about to freak the fuck out. That shit was gross. And I was like, yeah, yeah, it was. But I'm not going to lie, that burger was fucking good, bruh. It was, I, that shit was worth it. Um, and, you know, my memory gets a little foggy here. But we just, like, I don't know, we just, we just, like, were dicking around and just acting, like, super weird. And, like, being paranoid about if other people thought we were weird. <laughs> Um, and eventually I was like, man, I really gotta pee, um, and so then I had to find, uh, like, a, one of those outhouse things, I hop in there, I do my business, and I hopped out, and I think this, like, little kid hops out of the other one, and just, like, looks at me really weird, and he just, like, runs off, and I'm like, alright, dude, like, that was weird, um, so I walk back, and then we decide to hop in the tent, uh, actually, no, we did go back to the, uh, <laughs> we went back to the river for a while, um, and we were chilling at, like, a different part of the river, we are just, like, walking on the rocks and shit, and we were just, like, we, we would have random moments where we would just sit down and just, like, he, like, stop talking to each other and just, like, think about shit, and I'd be, like, stuck in my own head thinking about random shit, uh, you know, like, I would just think about, like, the most random shit, like, video games, or, like, you know, music, um, uh, I thought, you know, uh, one of the, one of the things that happens to me a lot, especially, like, when I'm tripping, is I just get, like, you know, I'll just have, like, random moments where I just get, like, very horny, and I'm just like, huh, but, you know, at the time I was, uh, dating, I was still dating the girl that I was with for, like, the last two years, um, and, you know, still very in love with her, so I was, like, just sitting there, and I just, you know, just started randomly thinking about her, I was just like, ah, you know, just like, uh, just, you know, just like, random thoughts, you know, just switch, going between a bunch of different thoughts, um, and just, like, stuck in my head thinking about shit, um, and then eventually, you know, we just, like, go back to, having our normal trip, just, like, I was just, like, walking around a lot, and, like, didn't know, like, what, like, I just, like, wanted to be doing something, but didn't know what I wanted to do, and eventually we found this, like, Mountain Dew bottle that had some, like, still had some, like, water in it or something, and, like, not full, but it, like, still had stuff in it, and so we started, like, playing catch with this water bottle, and, like, you know, just going back and forth and, like, trying to, like, make it harder for the other person to catch it. And for some reason, that was really fucking fun. Like, we were literally just throwing a water bottle, and I don't know why it was so fun, but I was having the time of my life, dude. Um, and then we did that for a while, and then we decided to go back when it started getting a little dark. The sun starts going down. So we go back. We get, we hop in the tent. We have all our shit in there now, you know, like our, our sleeping stuff and food and a bunch of stuff. And we wanted to have something to do once this time came, so I decided to bring Cards Against Humanity with. I thought it would be fun. But as it turns out, we didn't have a full deck. So we had to, um, we had to play with, like, only part of a deck, and so there was a lot of repeat cards. And I think one of them was, like, uh, it was, like, Nigerian s slave boys or something is one of the answers, or something like that. Um, <laughs> And, and I just, like, both of us ended up using that, at, like, a lot, and I, it's hard to remember the specific, like, things, but it was really fucking funny, because, like, yeah, like, Nigerian slave boys was just something that kept coming up, it was really fucking funny. <laughs> um, and, yeah, we were just playing with this partial deck of Cards Against Humanity until every option had been used, basically, and it wasn't funny anymore. 
Um, and, you know, the whole time we're just chilling there, like, uh, just eating. And the whole time I was wishing I had weed because I knew it would be so fun just to be, like, chilling, smoking, doing that. Um, and then, you know, we just kind of chilled. Um, we opened up, like, we took this thing off the top that let us see out, like, the top of the tent so, like, we could see the sky. That was really sick. Um, and so we were just chilling there, like, staring at the sky, talking about the trip, because we were kind of coming down at this point, and I'm just chilling, um, and eventually he passes out, and I'm sitting there, and, uh, you know, I close my eyes, I'm enjoying the visuals, and trying to enjoy the, what, what is left of this trip, just thinking about shit, and then I start thinking about the Benadryl that I have, and I'm like, you know what, I could take some Benadryl right now, Probably not, like, as much as I would normally have to. I'd take just a little bit of Benadryl, and I'll get fucking zooted right now. Um, you know, like, I, I could get, I could get pretty, uh, I could get, you know, big zoinked and, uh, off the Benadryl, and I was thinking about it, and I was like, ah, but what if it sucks? Like, what if it's a bad trip, and I start tweaking out? Um, you know, and, like, on being, like, on a shroom come down, that would really fucking suck. But if it's good, it would be really fucking good, because, like, the body high, like, I'd be floating, you know? Um, and I'm thinking about it, and I thought about it all night, and I was, like, contemplating. I was going back and forth, and I, like, took out the pills, counted them out as, you know, as how many I was going to take and everything. And I was sitting there, and I'm, like, looking at them, and they're there. I'm like, mmm, I want to take them. Ooh, I kind of want to take them, but I, at the same time, I really, really don't. And, you know, I'm, I'm just going back and forth in my head thinking about it. And eventually, I ended up just passing out and not doing it, and I fell asleep, like, on the pills, which is really funny. Um, <laughs> and so we wake up, and, uh, yeah, uh, we, we were only staying there the one day while we were tripping. Um, and so, you know, we just uh, we packed up, and we got headed back. And had a nice little afterglow from the trip, and we talked about stuff, listened to music, and the music enhancement was still there, and it was amazing, even though we didn't really get a chance to listen to music on that trip, because there was no service out there, but what on the way back, that shit was fire, it was still bumping, and, you know, got home that day, we still had some shrooms, and, uh, you know, I, I was just... I was just chilling the rest of that day, and then it comes to, like, nighttime, and I'm chilling there, and I'm thinking, I'm like... I'm like, you know what? I I want to take some more shrooms. So I whip out the bag and I start eating that shit. Um, and you know, I just uh, I just you know, I ate some more shrooms. I don't know how much. I think it was like maybe three, four grams. I think. And I was chilling. I was just watching YouTube. I was watching some psyched substance. He's a great YouTuber to watch. Watching other drug videos. I like watching drug videos when I'm high. It's just, it's interesting, you know? Um, and then I just like, I was, you know, I was coming up and I was like chilling and I got a little bit of come up anxiety and I always have that. I have come up anxiety a lot and you know, it's rough. And so, I was sitting there, and I just, like, you know, I, 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 you know, I was tripping for a while, and, you know, it was a good, like, I, I tripping by yourself is a very different experience from tripping with other people, because you're just kind of stuck in your head, and it was like I was hearing my voice in my head, but I wasn't talking, but I was still, like, thinking, um, and it was really weird, and I was just thinking about stuff, and I was just watching videos and just having fun. Uh, and eventually I ended up, like, sitting on the floor, and I, like, passed out there, um, and then I woke up the next day, still tripping, uh, um, <laughs> and then, but, like, I wasn't, like, super high anymore, I was like, you know what, I want to keep tripping, and I was just like, you know what, I just, I, like, I feel like I haven't gotten the experience that I really wanted to get out of this yet, because I wanted to have more of, like, an introspective trip where I just, like, actually thought about stuff. And so far, like, yeah, I'd been thinking about a bunch of stuff, but I hadn't been, like, thinking about, like, serious stuff. And, like, you know, just been, like, chilling. Um, so I took more, and at this point, it was, like, almost the whole bag. By the end of the day, I ate all of it. Um, and I'm just sitting here, and I'm just, you know, I'm just, I'm just thinking, I'm thinking... And I, I had a lot of shit that was going on in my life at the time that I had to think about. And I'm not going to go into details about that. But I thought about the shit that I needed to think about. And I, you know, I think I, I figured out what I, you know, kind of needed to figure out. Um, 
and then, yeah, that, um, yeah, after that, um, like, I, I went to sleep that day, and, uh, woke up the next day, I was like, you know, oh, yeah, there's still acid, hey, you know what, I'm gonna take some acid, and I think at this point it's, like, Monday, um, and so, oh, wow, this is way more than four days, I just realized this, I think I took, like, two tabs that, that day, and I just had a pretty chill trip, um, it felt really good, I like acid more than I like shrooms, I think, and I think it has more of, like, a body high, I, like, it's just, I don't know, it feels more like there's more of a rush to it, and I really like that, and I like the colors, and it's just easier to take, it's way cleaner. And so that was really fun, and I, I think I ended up watching a movie um, with my cousin that day while I was tripping, and that was really that was really sick. I think it was like, uh, God, what is it? It's like a movie where they're like cockroach, like giant man-sized cockroaches, um, and they're like trying to kill everyone, and there's like a whole like hive of them under in like the sewers under everyone's feet. There's like thousands of them. Um, I don't remember what it's called anymore, but anyway, so we watched that, and that, it, even though I was tripping, it was actually surprisingly a really fun movie, I like watching horror movies, and like, funny horror movies, and it was kind of both, um, so that was fun, and then, like, the next day, I tripped again, I think I took, like, um, I think I only took, it was like one, I took like one, maybe two, and then the final day, um, you know, the so the day before the final day, I went and I got some DXM, and I was sitting on that, um, and I, I'm pretty sure that I, yeah, I extracted it, and then I, you know, I was sitting there, and I recently gotten a new pair of headphones, and I was really enjoying those, and I was sitting there, and so I, you know, the next day, or actually, okay, no, okay, I remember how this goes, yeah, it, sorry, my memory's fucking ass, and it comes together as it goes, but, so, it, I didn't take it the next day, I took it the night before, and then I was still high the next day, so, on, like, I, um, so, yeah, I took, I think, three tabs that day, and then I got DXM later in the day, and then it was, like, m more towards, like, 5 p.m., I think, and I extracted it, and then I took it, um, as soon as it was, like, dry, and then I was sitting there, and I had one of the fucking most amazing, like, tripping experiences I've had in a long time with DXM. DXM plus LSD is fucking magical. Um, if there was, like, I think if I do DXM again, I want to do it with acid. And, yeah, it just, like, it, 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 it enhances DXM so much, and even with my tolerance, it still felt, like, really, like, good. And the dissociative effects of DXM take away all of the come-up anxiety, and it just makes it a really comfortable experience, and you just get to enjoy feeling good and, like, just being happy. And so I was just listening to music, really having a blast, enjoying the music, music enhancement. And after, you know, some really serious stuff, thinking about some really serious stuff in my brain, I, you know, I really needed that just, you know, that calm experience uh, to come off. Um, to end it off with, and then I was up all night, and then the next day, I had group therapy for, uh, like, I had, you know, drug group therapy, and I was actually excited to go, because, I, you know, I had just had this experience where I had thought about some really important stuff, and, you know, got a good revelation out of it, and then had, a uh, you know, just like, uh, I was, I was, I was pretty happy at the time, I was content, and I was, you know, uh, looking forward to, uh, life, uh, which happens, uh, psychedelics are really good at that, it changes, it put, it, it always gives me a different perspective on life, and that's what is really important about it, um, and I was still decently high, I was coming off the DXM and the, you know, the acid still, so I was still kind of tripping for a lot of this day, and I remember sitting there before and after drug, drug therapy, I was just sitting on the swings with my eyes closed and thinking about how it felt similar to how moving on, like the, when you start feeling like you're moving on DXM is and how similar it feels, except the swinging feels way faster and it's only in a certain direction. 
Um, but it is, it does feel very similar. And I mean, I was still kind of on DXM, so that was probably also part of it, but it felt really good. I don't know. Swinging was really nice. And I recommend everybody swings, you know, goes and tries swinging while you're tripping or like if you're experienced with DXM and don't get nauseous, maybe try swinging on DXM. Anyway, that's all that I really got. This was a pretty long video, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, make sure to go check out my social medias. Um, you could, you know, if you want to talk to me personally, uh, hit me up there. There's a Discord server, which uh, we have, you know, a lot of people uh, in there now. Uh, we got a great community in there. I talk to, you know, you guys as much as possible in there. Um, and, you know, uh, show you guys, you know, there's uh, notifications whenever I upload and stream and stuff. Um, and yeah, if you want to support the channel, leave a like, uh, leave a comment. I try to read all the comments, uh, subscribe, uh, you know, great ways to show support. Um, and you know, show me you guys want to see more of these videos without any further ado, stay zooted, stay lifted. Peace.